Hello, I'm Chris Jones, Director of Hardware and Capture and Engineer of the Mark IV. Let's take an at-home look at setting it up. Attach the clamp to the Teradek receiver, clamp to your workstation, and power it up with the AC adapter. Using an included BNC cable, connect the SDI out from the Teradek to the SDI in of the AJA UTAP. Connect the UTAP using the USB 3 cable to your PC. Launch Faceware Studio. Select the UTAP as your video input. Attach the clamps to the Teradek receiver and the QC monitor. Place the KeyPro rack, Teradek receiver, and QC monitor on your desk and connect them all to AC power. Gently load a drive in the KeyPro. Using an included BNC cable, connect the SDI out from the Teradek to the SDI 1 in of the KeyPro rack. Using another BNC cable, connect the SDI 1 out to SDI in on the QC monitor. Accessories can now be attached. If live streaming, the UTAP can be connected to the SDI 2 out on the KeyPro. External audio can be connected to the XLR in. Timecode can be connected to the LTC in port. Turn on the power for all the units. Now the Mark IV. Size the helmet to the talent. Experiment with helmet sizing and padding to find a snug and comfortable fit. It should sit far enough back to expose the forehead. Put the camera on the bar by clamping the camera head to the bar using the included 2mm hex driver. Wrap the cable down one side of the bar. Take the camera blocks and place them on the ends of the bars. Attach the bar to the helmet. Position roughly in front and slightly tighten down the thumb screws. Secure the cable to the back of the helmet. Move down the cable to the breakout box and attach the light switch and the SDI jumper cable. Prepare the belt by first sizing it to the performer. Then attach around the waist. Put the helmet on and secure in the back. Connect the helmet breakout to the belt. PTAP power to the battery plate and SDI jumper to the Teradek. Click on the battery, check the Teradek bolt is powered on, and the video should come up. Now let's frame up the camera. The bar can be raised and twisted to be straight out from the performer's face. The mount can then be tilted, trucked, and panned to center up the face in the frame. The grid display is a great tool for this. To check focus, turn on focus assist in the QC monitor. Loosen the set screw on the lens housing and rotate the lens until the image looks sharp. Now you are ready to go. The quickest way to record is to hit the red record button on the front of the KeyPro rack. For greater control, you can use Faceware's Shepard control application, where you connect the KeyPro to your PC with an ethernet cable. Shepard enables monitoring and control of one or many KeyPro racks. It can even take record triggers and file names from XNs, Vicon, and OptiTrack mocap systems. Please check the support section of our website for more detailed information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.